Okay, Knox, tell us where you are and what's behind you, although we can't see it in the dark. Um, I'm in Sydney, Australia, and behind me is Sydney Harbor, and somewhere, I'm not sure if it's actually behind me, it may be like around and in front of me, um, is the Harbor Bridge, which is kind of a big landmark, and then further beyond that is the Sydney Opera House. Okay. Very good. So as we're thinking about things that you've seen in Australia, there are some things that you knew were going to be different, like driving on the left side of the road, right? Yeah, and money. And, stuff. and money, right? But there have been some things that you didn't necessarily expect that are a little different. What are some of those things? Well, um, first of all, um, Burger King is not called Burger King here. It's called Hungry Jack's. And I was not sure if I believed that this was actually a Burger King when we first came here, but there are no Burger Kings in Australia, and Hungry Jack's advertise itself as the home of the Whopper. So I'm pretty sure it's basically just Australian Burger King. It's owned by, I looked it up, it's owned by the same company. So I'm not sure why they changed the names for these things. Uh, also, TJ Maxx, they call it, it's, um, in Australia, it's TK Maxx? Which doesn't make sense to me because it seems like it's like, I, I, I always thought that it stood for something and apparently they can just change it, so I guess and, not. And we and saw then, breakfast cereals were a little different, right? Yeah, so um, Cocoa Puffs or Cocoa Pops. Or Cocoa Krispies maybe. No, they're Cocoa Pops. Okay. And then um, Rice Krispies are uh, rice... Bubbles. Bubbles, yes, rice bubbles. Yeah, <laughs> which isn't quite the same. It doesn't make sense. And then um, Smarties, they have the candy Smarties here, but it's not quite but the same. It's, it's, not, it's not the same brand. And they're basically, they're called Smarties, but they're basically M&Ms. They're like a little bit flatter and bigger around, maybe, than M&Ms, mm -hmm. but like they're pretty much M&Ms. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if, if uh, a lot of the Australians have tasted real Smarties, <laughs> but it's, it's the same way in England, I remember from when I was there, because th they had, like, Smarty ice cream, and I was like, mm -hmm. how does that work? And then it was like M&M's. And, of course, they add letters to words that we don't think need those letters, right? Mm -hmm. They add U's. To words like what? Honor and favorite. And color. Mm -hmm. um, and then they like to flip the R's and the E's sometimes. So that you've got center, which is C E N T R E. Mm -hmm. Instead of E R. Uh, yeah. And a lot of those things are similar to Great Britain, of yes, course. Yes, a lot of those things are British. But you can also see a little bit about how the Aussies have developed their own style. And that's another interesting thing that I told you to be prepared for, but then when we see it, it's still kind of funny to us. So they like to shorten words a lot. Mm -hmm. So an Australian is an Aussie. They'll take like words that have multiple syllables, mm -hmm. take out all except for the first one, and then put E. So breakfast becomes... Brecky. And sunglasses. sunglasses. Sunnies. And Christmas. Chrissy. Although yeah. I've only heard that once. Yeah. So that's a little different. And that's not British at all. That's very no. Australian. 